Hello there guys, it's me again, Unstable Voltage, and today we're going to be continuing the process of making our biofuel. Today we're going to be building another machine from the forestry mod, and this is the still. The purpose of the still is so we can convert the biomass that we created in the last video into a more powerful and efficient biofuel. It is possible to use a Buildcraft refinery to convert biomass into biofuel, but with the refinery you will only get one bucket of biofuel for every four buckets of biomass, and with the still you will get three buckets of biofuel for ten buckets of biomass, therefore making the still a more efficient method. It's very easy to build, so let's go and put it together. Okay folks, back at the workshop once again. Now when I said it's easy to put together, I wasn't exaggerating. Sturdy casing, which we'll have made a hundred times before in the middle. We need four glass blocks, top, bottom, left and right. And then redstone goes in the four corners. And that will give us our still. Nice and easy. So let's pop outside to the biofuel plant. Right, so we're back outside at our fuel plant. Now, those of you that have been watching the last few videos, you'll know what's going on here. For those of you that haven't, I'll quickly explain. We've got a large tank here, which is full of seed oil, and that is being provided by this squeezer down here. The squeezer is being powered by a biogas engine, which we built in the last video, and the uh, fuel for the biogas engine is actually using the seed oil as well, and that is also being supplied with some lava because you need heat to get the biogas engines going. The lava pipe I've buried under the ground since the last video and that runs here to this tank and then we have a tank here, a tank of water that is supplying water to our fermenter which is turning our oak saplings into biomass and the biomass is going over here into this tank. So that's where we've got so far. We've managed to turn seeds into seed oil and we have turned saplings into biomass. Now biomass is very good, it is a very good source of fuel, it's much better than using seed oil or honey in a biogas engine, and you can also use biomass in a biogenerator. But what I want to do is convert the biomass into biofuel. Biofuel is much stronger and much more efficient. And the main reason I want to do this, later on I would like to build a uh, quarry and the plan is we're going to have some electric engines powering the quarry and we're going to power that from the biogenerator using the biofuel. Sadly the quarry's still a few videos off because of the colossal nightmare that is great tech. So let's start by putting a few things down. We are going to need our still of course so let us pop that down uh, on this slot here. Now it's going to need some power and it requires buildcraft power so let us pop another uh, biogas engine behind it. Now what I've got here is some wooden waterproof pipes, redstone engines, cobblestone and levers. So if we run a waterproof pipe, I uh, think what's the best way to do this, they're going to cross over unfortunately but we can get around that. So we'll run our cobblestone pipe over here and that will go into the back of the engine and we can provide fuel to our engine. Now that's going to need to have a redstone engine to pump the fuel in. Now as I said, since the last episode I've buried, buried this lava pipe and if I get some cobblestone waterproof pipe, I can... Did I turn that engine on? No, there we go, engine's on. Uh, we will use the cobblestone, uh, sorry, the stone waterproof pipe and we will take our lava, which already has a power source because it's being pumped out from the other tank. We will take that over here and connect it to our engine. So great, so we now have biomass and we have lava going into the engine. That's great, we're going to need to turn the engine on at some point, so there is a switch for that. Now the thing to remember is the still actually works more slowly than the fermenter. So the fermenter is going to produce biomass quicker than we can turn it into biofuel. That's not too much of a problem though because we're actually also using some of the biomass to power the engine so it should just about even out. Now what we want to do is also get some of this biomass into the still. So we'll go back to using the cobblestone transport pipes, the waterproof pipes, 
and we will run another line in. So as you can see in the middle there I've got the stone pipe from the lava and the cobblestone goes either side, it's not going to connect up. So if we look at the engine, the engine has biomass and lava and we can already see the still is filling up. If we just look inside, yep, there we go, we've got biomass coming in. Now as usual you can put it in via buckets or cells or cans. You can also put the biofuel that's produced into um, cans and cells, but we are going to pump it straight out and go into another tank. So same process as before, we are going to need a waterproof pipe to pump out. We will use the stone pipes, it doesn't really matter, so let's just do that there. I did bring some scaffolding in case this doesn't work, but I should be able to just jump up onto the roof nice and easily. There we go. Always pump in from the top and out from the bottom. That's connected up nicely, let's jump down and break my legs. We have our redstone engine. Now one thing I haven't done is actually turned on the biogas engine, so let's get that going because that does take a few seconds to get started. You can see it's heating up nicely. And there we go, it's already starting to use the biomass. The engine's kicking off, that is great. And we're going to need a lever here next to this redstone engine. So, right, what have we done so far? We have placed down our still. We have connected the still to a supply of biomass because that's what we're doing. We're turning biomass into biofuel. We have powered our still with a biogas engine from the last video. The biogas engine is being supplied from the same source of biomass and also lava so that you can get up and running. Now biomass actually runs quite hot so you could just put a bucket or two of lava in the engine and not connect it up via a pipe. As long as the engine keeps going it will produce enough heat to keep itself running. Biomass burns very very hot. So we've got our engine running on our still. As you can see, the still is doing something. It is doing it very slowly, but it's doing it nonetheless. And we are already creating biofuel. Now, it only holds about 10 buckets, so you don't want to leave it too long. But there we go, there's another lot in there. So we can turn on this switch here, and hopefully this redstone engine will now start pumping out our biofuel. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can also do this using a buildcraft refinery which is a very simple process because you just pump the biomass in and the biofuel out and you require a buildcraft engine to power it but you will actually get a better yield of biofuel if you use the still and we are pretty much concentrating on the forestry machines and there we go it's starting to pour in we right click we've not got a lot but we are getting some so there we are we have our source of biofuel and we have another valve round on the back of the tank which I can pump out to our bio generator when we get that probably in the next video so there we are guys that is how you convert your biomass into biofuel which is a much stronger form of fuel and that can be used in combustion engines and also in bio generators so guys, thanks again for watching. I hope as always you found this video informative and entertaining. If you have, please remember to like, share and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for things you'd like to see in future videos, if there's a particular machine, mod or item that you'd like to see me build and demonstrate, by all means send me a message or leave it in the comments below. So until the next video, I've been Unstable Voltage, this has been How to Feed the Beast in Minecraft, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.